today I am going to discuss with you Uber Pet, Uber X, as well as service animals. <laughs> I mean, fuck that shit. Let's get into it. Y'all know how I do. That ain't me. Now, any one of us that use Uber X, we already know when you pull up, or you see somebody sitting there with a dog. You thinking, okay, this is Uber X. This ain't Uber Pet. This is Uber X. And if it's a service animal, you gotta take them, cause Uber says you have you can't de deny somebody service because it's against the law, and it is. It really it's against the law. We got these things out there called assistance animals or emotional support animals. They're not service animals. Now, service animals they go through a lot of training. You gotta go. You know, it costs a lot of money to have a service animal. Just you ain't gonna just go to the dog pound and pick up no service animal. You might get an assistance animal. Uh, that's a dog that's just hanging out with you likes to kick back with you and shit like that but if you're gonna go get an actual service animal that comes from a school and there's a lot of schools in the united states that train these dogs specifically for doing a service and there's laws against people who try to sit up there and say hey man this is a service animal you have to take my dog no i don't and you can tell if it's a service animal or not because service animals for one you can't hold them in your arms. They're not trained to be held and carried. So if somebody's carrying a dog right off the bat, that probably ain't no service animal. Then if they kind of get, you know, a little snappy with you or snappy with another dog or they kind of antsy or whatever, that ain't no damn service animal. Okay, now this is not a service dog. This is an emotional support dog. You can tell because he growls and he does crazy shit. And service dogs don't do that. This dog, he is like, he loves to hang out with me. And people say, well, he's growling. That's his way of purring like a cat. He could never be a service dog because he's nuts like that. He has to be more quiet. Every dog cannot be a service dog. He's an emotional support. This is my buddy. See, I could do anything with him. You put him in the car, he goes nuts like this. Nah. Plus, he jumps up on me all the time. You want to come up here? Come on. Come on. Jump up. Come on. Come on. The more you talk to him, the crazier he gets. Not a service dog. Trust me. I know a service dog when I see one, and this motherfucker definitely ain't one. I know, buddy. He's nuts like that. So you can tell if a dog is a service animal or not. And you can't really ask these people, hey, man, if that's a service animal, you got some certification to show me? You can't ask people. That's illegal. And so people are going to try to lie and claim that it's a service animal. All of these states got laws against fraud. People who are fraudulently saying, hey, man, uh, I got a service animal. You can end up having somebody fined for that, especially if they try to get your job taken. In Arizona, I think it's what, 250 bucks if somebody tries to use, say that their dog is a service animal and that motherfucker really ain't no service animal, you can go get money for that. You can find that 250 bucks, probably sue them civilly in court for getting your job taken. If you drive an Uber and it's a, well, you got me deactivated for lying about this dog, saying this dog, well, I thought it was a service animal. And you can educate people about that shit because not a lot of people who have these dogs even know. So if they walk up like, hey, this is a service animal, be like, wait a minute, is that a service animal? assistance support like uh, a animal assistance dog you know is it emotional support what is this because a service animal requires training like a year training at least and they train them back and forth to work with you to provide a service so if you just saying this is a service animal get a ride then you know that that's fraud that's fraud you can't say that just to get a ride or to get allowed into a place or whatever you actually have have to have a service animal and a lot of these, like i said a lot of these people don't know that shit they'll sit there and lie to you just so they can get you to take them from point A to point B. And they be like, yeah, I just tell people it's a service dog, man. I just tell people that. That's fraud. That's fraud. And it's been getting a lot of people deactivated Im improperly. Uber and Lyft should not be improperly deactivating people, running around with these assistance pets, calling them what they're not. Next time you pull up to somebody, be cool with asking them and check them on that shit. It's cool with that. You know what i saying? You know, what kind of, if you see the dog laying down or sitting down or doing something, being well behaved shit like that. it might be a service animal you never know it could be but if you kind of see it out of sorts and look this shit up you can go look it up and look at all the symptoms of what a service animal is versus like an emotional support animal some of these dogs be wilding out and these motherfuckers wilding out you know that's not a service animal they don't do that they're very well trained you can take them anywhere they don't bark at other dogs they don't even look at other dogs they know what they their job is they do their job so don't fuck around and get deactivated dealing with these people lying committing fraud about all these service animals like i said that's why we keep getting all these these hits on our phone all the time because people are complaining about not getting rides because oh he didn't want to pick me up and i got a service animal uber and lyft don't give a shit they just want the money they just they don't give a fuck if it's a service animal or a merchant support dog they don't care all they know is somebody called them and said well i didn't get a ride because i had a dog my service animal 
Motherfucker, Uber ain't gonna be like, oh, well, can you can you send us paperwork showing that it's a service animal? Uber don't do that. Lyft don't do that. So for all Lyft and Uber thinks of is, well, damn, these people are denying service animals requests. No, that's that probably wasn't a service animal. I'm, that they bullshitting you. That was not a service animal. And that's why I'm telling you as drivers, don't let these people bullshit you and put these animals in your car. If you want to keep it real, keep it with 100 with me. Tell me. Let me know. Okay, it's not really a service animal. It's my assistance animal. It's my emotional support dog. I like to hang out with it. It's cool. That's all. It's cool. And, you know, I'm going to keep it in my lap. I got some covers. You know, I can help protect your car. You know, this, I mean, let keep, tell motherfuckers keep it real. And if they can't do that, then you know what? You got to go on Uber Pet. And on Uber Pet, a lot of us won't pick up Uber Pets. And if you don't want to do Uber Pet, then you know what? Just talk to the driver one-on-one. -on -one. Be like, hey, man, nobody want to pick me and my dog up. You know, he's a, a big Labrador and shit like that. People don't like him in the car. Is it cool if I just shoot you some cash? You know, I can help it. That might be an easier way to get them around because a lot of people, they know on UberX, we don't get paid shit. Uber Pet, a little bit more, but still it ain't worth shit. And these dogs got claws and nails and shit, fucking up seats and everything. A lot of us got leather seats. We transport people. We love when people get in our car and go, man, this is a nice ass Beamer, man. This shit's clean. Do I love this? Now imagine them opening up that door and seeing claw marks and scratches and shit all over stuff from me giving dogs around all damn dogs rides all day. They're like, damn, man, this car is nice as hell, man. What happened to your back seat? Man, I was driving some lady around with a damn dog. Dog, She said it was a service animal. Dog jumping all over the damn place, scratching my seats and shit up. Oh, man, Uber going to fix this? Nah, they said it's normal wear and tear of doing Uber Pet. When I told the motherfuckers it wasn't Uber Pet, it was an Uber X ride. And lady said it was a service animal. Service animals don't act like that. So y'all got to check on that shit, man, because you these cars are yours to protect. These are your investments. Uber don't care about your investment. Lyft don't care about your investment. These motherfuckers with these pets don't care about your investment. You got to show some care about your investment. So check them. Be like, dude, I don't think that's a service animal. That dog's wilding out, man. He's all jumping up and down. He's scratching up in the air. He's trying to jump on you, jump on me. No, I mean, he's my service animal. No, he's not. He's an emotional support dog. That's different. That's different. And you have them check that shit. And if they want to contact Uber, contact Uber. But tell Uber, too. These are emotional support dogs. They're trying to, like, pass off as service animals. And we got laws against that shit. That's fraud. Don't be putting no fraudulent motherfuckers in my car. And we know these people commit fraud because they be lying about getting sausage and muffins and shit like that. These people lying like a motherfucker. They lie for any reason. Trying to get free rides. They lie on, on drivers all the time. Yeah, this driver says something to me. They ain't saying shit to him. Run your motherfucking dash cam. Oh, well, he said, you said, motherfucker, here's the whole dash cam. I ain't said shit to these people. Oh, well, I don't know why they would say that. Because a lot of people are frivolous ass people. They're frauds. And they're using dogs and cats and shit in the same way. This is my service animal. No, it's not. That's why there are states out there with statutes against that shit now. They're tired of people playing the game. The, all these frauds involved in ride share and us getting fucked out of money and stuff like that. This shit has to come to an end. We are the reason why this shit happens because we allow it to happen. Once we start shutting shit down, prevent it from happening, then the apps are going to say, okay, I think we're kind of doing these drivers dirty. These motherfuckers are smart. They know the difference between a service animal and an emotional support animal. They know the difference. We didn't tell them the difference. They went and found out the difference. Yeah, we went and found out the difference because these apps ain't going to train you or teach you how to do ride share. They're training you how to be a better slave and just do whatever the fuck you told. They get all the money. You get 25, 30, 40 percent of the money. Your car is getting torn the fuck up. You don't want to got to deal with cleaning out dog hair and cat hair and all this shit. You dealing with all and they running off to the bank. Everybody getting 40 percent salary increases, getting extra stock options, millions of dollars in their fucking pocket. Stockholders all happy. Everybody happy. They don't got a duty to you or your car. Your duty is to you and your car. So go out, study this shit, research this, find out what we're doing. What kind of business are we doing? Find out. And be okay to stand up for yourself. You got a lot of channels out there telling you to roll over. Don't stand up for yourself. Don't research it. Don't look into shit. Don't be like, you know what? This is kind of, I don't know. The first thing they're going to tell you is, oh, if you don't like it, go just go do something else. These are the same type of motherfuckers that be, when people say, man, America's fucked up, man. America, well, if you don't like America, leave America. That's the kind of shit they saying. I tell motherfuckers, no, we don't leave. We fix it. We fix it with our voices, with our actions. With our intelligence, we fix it. We don't just walk off and let motherfuckers do people dirty and we leave and they do the next fleet of people dirty and they leave and they do the next fleet of people dirty. We don't do that. So for all these people out there, if you don't like it, just leave. Imagine if somebody said, you know what, I think America screwed up. We need to do something. Oh, if you don't like America, just leave. It's the same type of fucking mindset. I don't like that shit. I don't like it. 
which is why I dig into shit. If Uber is sending me some, I'm going to research why Uber is sending that to me. Because most likely it's got some shit to do with some lawsuits more than anything else. Because as soon as you get that shit on your phone, be like, okay, they must have been, been getting a lot of calls and lawsuits about this shit. Service animals. Because we show getting a whole lot of notifications about service animals. People want to transport their dogs. And these ain't no motherfucking service animals. And you let them know if you are fraudulently saying that this is a service animal when it's actually an emotional support animal, you can be fined by the state of Arizona for two hundred and fifty dollars. And I probably got a civil case against you. I'm just letting you know up front. You fuck up my car. You tear my car up. That dog fuck up my car. I'm going to civilly sue you. I will have to find out who you are through Uber, through Lyft and civilly sue you in small claims to replace my seats and shit back there. They might be like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just get another ride. Yeah, exactly. Go get another ride. Okay, now this is not a service dog. This is an emotional support dog. You can tell because he growls and he does crazy shit. And service dogs don't do that. This dog, he is like, he loves to hang out with me. And people say, well, he's growling. That's his way of purring like a cat. He could never be a service dog because he's nuts like that. He has to be more quiet. Every dog cannot be a service dog. He's an emotional support. This is my buddy. See, I could do anything with him. You put him in a car, he goes nuts like this? Nah. Plus, he jumps up on me all the time. You want to come up here? Come on. Come on. Jump up. Come on. Come on. The more you talk to him, the crazier he gets. Not a service dog. Trust me. I know a service dog when I see one, and this motherfucker definitely ain't one. I know, buddy. He's nuts like that.